Hello there, and welcome back to one of the Thunders Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Suburban House Building. All right, so the last episode, well, it's what we're doing. We're building suburban houses. <laughs> we're four episodes in, guys. Get with the program. <laughs> uh, anyways, the uh, the last episode, we uh, were working on, we were trying to figure out uh, what to do with this right here. If we we're going to put a side porch on it. And we adjusted this window right here. We moved that in and got that so we have a nice uh, set of stairs going down and then on the outside I've moved this over here instead and then I was trying to figure out what to do with the stone underlay around the uh, the foundation or down here now I am running shaders in this episode I know I waited till <laughs> episode 4 to start running them uh, turn down the viewing distance just a little bit to uh, try to alleviate any kind of lag that I might pick up and we're going to see how that works for this episode and uh, hope hopefully you guys like it uh, I've got some questions built up or at least uh, a handful of them, so we can start uh, implementing those into maybe this episode, maybe a couple of them, and uh, finish off a couple of the uh, the ones that I got sidetracked on when I first, uh, I think episode two or three, I started talking about something and then got sidetracked. But anyway, uh, let's get going. White stained clay, that's where we are going to go, and I'm going to bring this up one more, so we're going to bring this up to a level of five uh, above the, um, the stone foundation down there that way uh, we can go ahead and start putting a roof on this kind of figure out where this is going to be so yeah one two three four whoops one two three four five there we go five all right and then right here all right we're going to put let's start putting the second floor on this thing and i'm going to want the roof of the garage to go this way and the easiest way to do a the roof i think on this one is just going to be a standard stair one just like this and I'm going to put a bonus room above the garage. So I think that would be a pretty good idea. And hopefully that isn't, isn't too steep. It shouldn't be. With the second floor and the other roof on it, proportion-wise, this should be just fine. Now usually what I like to do is, to make it easier for setting stairs, is I just go ahead and run this back. Um, like I said, it just it'd make it a lot easier for setting stairs. And then uh, on the inside anyways, uh, I want to trim it off and I don't want to see the roof so this will make a finished wall on the inside I won't do this all the time it just depends on if one if it will be seen uh, as a finished wall or or if I've got a really really super big roof I'll do this set the stairs and then remove it uh, with MC edit just to make that part of the build a hell of a lot easier because setting stairs are a bitch not one of my favorite things to do um, can use it with World Wrapper, but I don't have it in 1.8 yet. Still working on that client. Matt is trying to get it together for me and get all the uh, the fun essentials that I need. And uh, hopefully he will get that together for me very shortly. All right, so right there is going to be the roof. Now this is going to tie, obviously, into the side of this wall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I want to go that high? I'm not sure I want to go that high. Probably six. Because uh, my lower wall is one, two, three, four, five, and our ceiling. I want a pretty good ceiling in here. I don't think I want to cut this off. I don't think I want to do this. One, two, three, four, and lose all these big windows. But maybe I do. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's work some things out here. Uh, back to this corner. Let's go. Let's build this up while we think about it and we take a question from the viewers. All right, so on Facebook we have Matt Melamed. Sorry if I say your names wrong, guys. I will probably butcher the hell out of your names. Um, just just laugh about it. Have have fun with it. Uh, what is your view on food? I thought I thought this was uh, a absolutely just just a funny question um, because obviously we need food. That 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 is my take on food. Um, I'm a very actually I think it's probably where he's going is that is um, you know like what one of my favorite foods things like that. Um, I don't. I don't really have any really favorite foods. I'm actually a pretty picky eater, and I've got a pretty sensitive intestinal tract, um, and a lot of things just don't agree with my system. Uh, so, do we want a double root? Do we want a double ceiling on this? Let's go two, just like that, and see 
So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bang. Eh. For right now. For right now. All right. And now let's pull this car across. Uh, so favorite foods. Uh, don't really have any favorite foods. I like um, I like pizza. I'm, uh, you know, a lot a lot of people like pizza. Then there's a lot of people that don't like pizza. Um, I like lobster. Uh, when I can get it, it's expensive, <laughs> and I don't really like to fork out the money for it um, unless uh, Red Lobster is having a lobster fest, and then uh, I'll go down and I will get some. Uh, but other than that, uh, I like steak. Steaks are good. Uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, all the all the normal stuff, I guess you would call it, um, that people eat. And uh, as far as that goes, that's that's really about it. I don't like anything really, really spicy. I can eat spicy things. Um, do not really prefer them, especially if they're really, really spicy or really hot. Um, I am part Spanish, uh, so let's see, what does that look like? So I mean, we. What is that? What is that fucking doing? That runs into that window. Did I make those too high? Are we just going to do a... Oh, fuck. Are we just going to do a single floor for right now? Let's see what a single floor looks like. And we'll just keep pulling this around. And kind of filling this in a little bit. And getting a little bit better idea of where the floor is. Now, I'm not going to fill it in completely. Because I still want the light down here for when we lay some things out here. Uh, on, the, on the first floor. Shit, should we do that? I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue building this around. And I will keep talking about the food for a little bit. Or we'll just take another question. I mean, that's <laughs> that's that's my take on food, guys. Um, uh, thanks, Matt, for the question. Really, really appreciate that. Um, it starts questions off, whatever. Uh, we have another one from Brandon Schroeder. He's been a big fan around the channel for a long, 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 long time. And I thank him very much for that dedication. And he asks, if you could go back into the Navy would you and why and then and this is a very very good question because actually the past couple weeks i've kind of been thinking about it i actually pulled up some uh, uh websites because i know they raised the the age limit to re-enlist uh, especially the air force the air force is now up to uh let's see that that roof is going to go right here i believe um they uh, raised it up to 39 uh, and i am 40. And I know they take prior service now, or they take prior service, and they subtract it off from uh, the maximum age limit. So if it's 39 and I've got four years active duty, um, they will take that active duty off my age. So if I'm 40, it will take me down to 36. So any of the caps, uh, and I think the Marines is th uh, 28 or, th or 34, uh, 32, and the Navy's 36 or something. Anyways, I can't remember. Uh, but anyhow, uh, had thought about it, um, getting a bit old, did my time. I really kind of want to go back, um, but I, I just, I just don't think things are going to work out. Uh, I just really don't think things are going to work out. Um, uh, like I said, I'm getting old. Things are getting a little creakier, and uh, I, <laughs> I don't think the jag can hang with uh, the the younger kids. And uh, I don't know. I'm I'm way out of shape. It would take a lot to get back in shape, um, and I'm just not sure I really want to go through all that. Um, so probably not. But I definitely would go back. I had a great time. Uh, I loved the Navy. I said if I ever joined, uh, for if, or if I could go back and do it again, I would definitely join the Navy again or the Air Force. Um, the Air Force has the best facilities and the best chow. Um, so I always said if I went back. Or if I ever had to join again, it would it'd definitely be the Navy or the Air Force. Um, so, and why would I go back? Because I, you know, I love serving my country. I had a good time, um, and I got to see a lot of cool things and do things that normally uh, most people don't get to do. Um, you don't get to be on a fucking carrier in the civilian uh, civilian world. Um, you're lucky if you can even get close enough to uh, to take some nice pictures of one. Uh, you know, going through the uh, the bays of uh, the naval stations and stuff like that as they're as they're heading out to to sea. Uh, so yeah, I mean you get a lot of really really cool opportunities. Um, yes, you are basically writing a blank check to your government um, with your life, and and that's probably the, the most honorable thing that you can do for your country. 
Um, so yeah, there's a lot of reasons I would definitely go back, um, but just not not now. Uh, like I said, I'm just uh, I'm getting just a bit too old. If I'd thought a little bit more about it uh, uh, four or five years ago, uh, probably would have made a bigger effort and maybe rejoined because I would love to get on. If I think it would be really neat to go back. Um, I was stationed on the Enterprise, and I think it would be really, really awesome and ironic if I could go back in and get on the new Enterprise that's supposed to come out in 2023. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I would have to uh, definitely stay in for, you know, like eight years or whatever it is now. And uh, But it would it would be really, really ironic and pretty damn cool to, uh, to make a transition like that from one generation ship to its predecessor. Um, so, yeah, anyways, thank you very much, Brandon, for that question. Um, very ironic that that came up on the Facebook page when I was actually kind of mulling those ideas around in my head over the past week or two. So, yeah, pretty ironic on that. Um, as far as questions goes, guys, uh, you can do it on Facebook, obviously. Uh, you can do it on Twitter, just hashtag AskJag. Um, that way I know that it's not just a question that you need answered ASAP. It's just a question that you want to be used in, uh, in, in one of my Let's Build series. So if you do ask a question, uh, it, um, I'm trying to get them uh, across a couple of the different Let's Builds that I'm doing. I'm doing the, uh, the airfield right now. Um, I'm obviously, I'm doing this. Uh, there's a couple other Let's Builds that I want to get started. And uh, so, yeah, I will try to use as many as I can. I don't want to burn them all up at once. We don't really need an inside piece here right now. So let's just take that out. Um, so I will try to use as many as I can and, uh, and implement them wherever possible. Uh, so really, really appreciate those. Uh, Matt Robbie Turner, what's been the most intense and favorite build so far? Um, that one actually is, is pretty easy. <laughs> it, it was the, G, uh, the, the Gerald Ford. Uh, the Gerald Ford was very, very tense. Uh, it was a five uh, and a half hour tutorial. Uh, really awesome build uh, because of getting, you know, I've, I've done several carriers already. It's uh, it, it wasn't really hard to do. It was just very intense because um, I really wanted to get everything a lot better uh, looking than on the original Enterprise. And I'm just building this up by one. Uh, I, I don't know if this will work. It may be too tall. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and build everything up one more time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the uh, the Gerald Ford was uh, more of the tutorial was intense. Um, anytime I do tutorials, um, they they can get pretty pretty stressful and and pretty tenseful because they are the second time through, and um, I, I start getting a few few hours into especially an aircraft carrier tutorial, and things don't line up, and I and I get frustrated and I get very very pissed off because I've already done it once. And I'm like, God damn it, <laughs> I don't have to do this again. <laughs> but I do. Um, I do it. I always do it for you guys and um, because that's I love making videos. And I especially love making builds like this and letting people go through and do them themselves and picking up building experiences while they're doing it. Even though they're building my stuff, they learn a lot while they do it. Um, or what they, you guys, learn a lot while doing it. Um, something you didn't think about doing, or a technique, and you and you see how things line up. You kind of see through my eyes um, how things work, and um, and it really helps you out in your worlds and your builds. I'm going to go ahead and put a roof on this, and we're going to stitch up this episode, and uh, and then in the next episode we'll try to put some kind of a roof on this. I think, and um, that way I can keep these around the same length. And I have no idea what that is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. Um, the the other episodes are right around 20, 25 minutes. I know I had said 10, uh, 15 to 20, um, but I get rambling, and uh, some of the, the parts that I'm building, I want to take a little bit extra time on and and uh, and put it in that episode before continuing. So it is what it is, and I hope you guys are really enjoying this. This is going to tie into the other part of the roof which is going to go this way so it's going to go just like that and then on the end is, is going to peak up this way building roofs are a bitch guys i'm going to tell you right now roofs are not fucking easy um they they never have been in minecraft and that may be a little steep uh well it's got to be steep i don't have many choices uh, i could use slabs but slabs are going to knock it way down to about here 
and then I could take that off. Anyways, we will take a look at it. Um, all I'm going to do is just kind of finish this little piece off right here, and we will close out this episode. I'll probably tear this wall out real quick so I can drop those down in there. Um, not real crazy about that either. Uh, we'll take a second look at it off camera before starting episode 5. And uh, like always, guys, appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.